Ladies and gentlemen, oh good God, would you welcome please, Joan Burton. <laughs> Well, you look tremendous. Ryan, I think it's important that in difficult times, we do our best oh, to God. look our best. But at the end of the day, shoes are pennies, jacket <laughs> is anywhere. But I agree, I totally rock. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. How <laughs> How do you think the government has performed to date, Joan? How's it all going? Well, can I just say, Ryan, I think this government has performed well up to expectations. <laughs> if you consider that we have gone back <laughs> on almost everything we said we'd do yes. since we got in. I mean, basically, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Labour! <laughs> basically. Right, I'm making an important point. <laughs> Before the election, we said, let's stand up to Europe. Eight months later, <laughs> bingo, we are Europe's bitch. <laughs> okay? Leo Varadkar, Leo Varadkar, before the election, said, not one red cent more for Anglo. This week, 750 million yo-yos to those burning bondholders. <laughs> coming up to me all week oh, saying, God. this is just what we expected from you lot. And that's what people need right there, Ryan. Certainty. <laughs> we have delivered. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> well, as you know, <laughs> as you know, it's been a dramatic... <laughs> It's been a dramatic week. Anybody thinking readers, wives? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a dramatic week in, uh, <laughs> in politics. What, what about the, 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 uh, the current uh, uh, financial situation? What, what do you make of it all? Well, I think it's one of your colleagues, Johnny Giles, who describes Giovanni Trapattoni as a lucky manager, hopefully. But I think that Enda is a lucky general. I mean, look at the evidence. This year alone, hurling with Obama, tea with the Queen, and just this week, he finds 3.6 billion in change down the couch. <laughs> okay, I, 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 yes. I, I, <laughs> I, I was just going to say, I, as much as I love Joan Burton, yes. I, I do need to. I, I don't think I can take too much. Mario. I don't think I can keep doing. No, her no, very I don't think. Mario Rosenstock, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> my ears, my ears. <laughs> oh, God help us. Um, obviously, um, how are you, Mario? I'm very well, and thank you oh, for Jesus, having me Oh, Jesus, that's on so weird. <laughs> that's too weird. I mean, I'm very well. Yeah. <laughs> so the last few weeks uh, with the presidential election, you must, it must have been mana for you. For it now. was, I think it was a comedy goldmine, basically. At, there was one stage I was looking at Miriam O'Callaghan and seven podiums, and I thought I was watching The Weakest Link. <laughs> 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 Genuinely, Martin McGuinness, you are The Weakest Link. Goodbye. <laughs> And who, um, yeah, who, yeah. Who, did, who figured out your favourite then? In the, of all they were them? all great in their own way. They were like a chocolate box that you, know, yeah, you just yeah, loved yeah. them all. But I think my own personal favourite probably would have been Gay Mitchell. Um, for the reasons that he seems to me to be the most deluded. Like if, I, Gay, Mitchell, <laughs> if Gay Mitchell was here tonight, I think he'd be going, Ryan, I think um, uh, Michael D. Higgins is actually in a good position at the moment when it comes to the presidency. But remember, I got 6% of the vote and I think I'll be looking for a recount, Ryan. <laughs> and I think that in the next two weeks, he will be seeing Gay Mitchell and Aris and Neutron, which would be an incredible... <laughs> Incredible result, Ryan, considering the abject poverty by which I came. You probably grew up in a house with a car outside. I grew up in a manhole outside in Shakar. And I had to share the manhole with 19 other people, Ryan. You probably had human beings as friends growing up. My best friend was a rat. <laughs> What about the other characters? Go on now I was going to say the other characters, but actually it's the other I loved, candidates. I'm not going to go for the obvious ones um, until later. I loved yeah, yeah. Uh, Sean Gallagher. Yes. Um, but I kept on thinking that Sean Gallagher was going to peel off his face during the election <laughs> and reveal somebody, somebody different, somebody we knew from a long time ago. I was just keep thinking it was always going to be like this. My name is Sean Gallagher. I'm looking for your number one vote. 
But in the meantime, if you'll allow me. How are you, lads? <laughs> <laughs> The matter is, the fact of the matter is that it was me all along. Did, 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 did none of you cop it when I said the 5,000 quid check? Uh, did, 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 did none of you cop it when I said envelope? For Jesus' sake. You don't honestly think somebody could exist with a head that bleeding big. Do you? I was inside it all the time, you spanners. <laughs> Jason Byrne, anonymous. What about, uh, what about one of your favourite characters? I know you love Robbie Keane, and uh, he moved oh, to. Yeah. <laughs> He moved to LA oh. recently. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You're no. a fan of Robbie's. Yeah, I'm also a fan of Robbie's. Yeah. Uh, what I love about Robbie is how loyal he is. I was loyal to I was loyal to Wolves. I was loyal to Coventry. I was loyal to Inter Milan. I was loyal to Leeds. I was loyal to Liverpool. I was loyal to Spurs. I was loyal to Spurs back again. I was loyal to Celtic. And now I'm loyal to LA Toblerone or Galaxy or whatever they're called. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'd be playing live to FC Baghdad if they pay me enough. <laughs> and the other thing I love about Robbie is um, that we all have friends who went to America at some stage. Yeah, yeah. And then they all came back three months later or three weeks later and they all came back with these really annoying affectations like an accent or, yes. or something which would be funny in Robbie's case going, Yo, gangsters! Yeah, I'm just chilling out with me crib and me homeboys. I'm going to start kicking it with me bitches now. <laughs> quite funny and the other thing he always loves is um he always says that um it's a dream come true for him no matter what happens to him so uh so for, oh, it's a dream come true for me to sign for uh, fc mongolia <laughs> and uh that's a dream come true for me to be on the late late show i had the pajamas the late late pajamas when i was a child right over the them and gay born <laughs> pack any on me pillowcases yeah dream come true well he, he, we had him on the show actually i saw him on week. your show last year yes. and my jaw dropped on the floor i couldn't believe what i was watching um because he was there basically going ryan People don't understand how difficult it is for professional football at this day. Okay, we earn the same salary as a senior bleeding bond holder. But you don't understand, I have to train on Christmas Eve. I can't eat me brandy pudding on Christmas Day, because I might have to train with 11 other squidgillion airs. <laughs> so uh, it was a there is very that. sad for him. How about Keith Duffy? I know you're very fond of Keith, and uh, I am, yeah. Wh why, why do people love Keith so much? Well, what is the, what is the trick to Keith? I think people love Keith so much because <laughs> he's very muscly, and he talks as if he's pissed out of his head. <laughs> but the thing about Keith, buddies, is that he'd give anything a bash. I'm an actor. I'm a presenter. I'm a singer. Okay, we'll use inverted commas for that one. <laughs> I'm a triathlete. In fact, I try anything, buddies. And now I have new teeth. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's in Big Maggie, isn't he, um, uh, Keith? Or you're, sorry, you're Keith still. Hey, so buddy. I'm hey, <laughs> Keith. And you're in Big Maggie, isn't that right? Yeah. And um, what's that about? Having the a breeze, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll give it a bash anyway. Probably win a Tony for it. How are you, Tony, buddy? <laughs> Daniel O'Donnell. Yes. <laughs> is turning 50 this year. We're all, we're all very excited about that. Are, <laughs> are you excited? <laughs> are you excited about it? Am I excited? Of course I'm excited. Yeah. I'm so excited. Can you not feel the excitement? <laughs> Can you not feel the simmering, bubbling excitement <laughs> bursting to come out of me? 50 years of age, 14 more <laughs> years, and I'll be old enough to perform to one of the creatures like myself. <laughs> there they are, Ryan. Look out to the right. There they are, down the lens. I can see her. There she is, Betty down in Leitrim. There she is doing her knitting, and there's Maisie down in Antrim. There she is with her little little cake and her little hat on her head. <laughs> They're coming to get us, Ryan. They won't stop until we're dead. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Don't be asking me any difficult questions no, now. No, 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 no. I, I just thought that you were so excited you might give us a jig because I know Dan. Oh no, he's a, a handy dancer. Has anybody seen that? He's incorporated dance into his new routine. It's not as good to be si not enough to be singing to the grannies. He no. now has he to He likes go. to dance. Oh. <laughs> and he does this thing which resembles a taekwondo move. He sort of hangs his arms around. <laughs>
I almost think Grasshopper's going to come around and go, Very good, Daniel. Michael D. President Higgins. Well, yes, indeed, oh. Michael D. Hey, on his way. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much, Ryan. And I must say that I am a personal friend of Mario Rosenstock. I was performing in the Olympia on November 14th. That's right. But I am a personal friend of his. And last year, I had cause to do a gig with him in which I performed a poem. That poem was a poem about one of the loves of my life, Galway United, which I am president of. And I shared the poem with Mario, and we alternated lines. And there is a rude word in this poem which, unfortunately, Mario got me to say. And if I may... I'd be honoured, President. Is there anything you can do with the lights around here? Yes, I no? think we could bring... Can we All bring right. the lights down a little bit for the President? Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll just dim dimmer. For Galway United. <laughs> Late at night, I have oft bestrode across a patch of mown grass on the dyke road. The wind, it cuts through me so cold in the dark as I lay flat on my back in Terryland Park. <laughs> Naked. <laughs> I forget Nicholas Sarkozy and Angela Merkel. I am in ecstasy here, lying in the centre circle. I pull out a box and a match. I do light it, just a poet keeping vigil at Galway United. <laughs> when I first became Prez, they thought it a laugh. <laughs> sure, what would he know about buying a centre half? or preparation for matches, or tactical formations. He'll probably have the team protesting outside the United Nations. <coughs> yes, indeed, they said, Michael D. Higgins. What would he know? He couldn't tell Ronald McDonald from Ronaldinho. <coughs> He's too small to see the game with his wispy grey locks. I said I can see it perfectly well when I stand on my box. <laughs> but then they saw it was not a fad or a fashion, but that Michael D. had a sack full of passion. It did surprise them during matches when I suddenly would howl, You bollocks referee! That was definitely not a foul! <laughs> yes, indeed. For I am not Robbie Williams, moronically grinning. I believe you should sing even when your team is not winning. But then one night, as President of Ireland, I'll return uninvited and light a match to my lover, that is, Galway United. Mario Rosenstock, ladies and gentlemen. Mario, thanks so much. You are such a laugh. Thank you. Mario Rosenstock is signing.